Imagine this. You're living in prehistoric times. Your daily to-do list includes. Avoid being eaten. Invent the wheel. And somewhere down the line. Take a bath? Yes, even before the pyramids were a thing, humans had a thing for being clean. But without soap, showers, or even a sponge, how did they avoid stinking? Long before the invention of the sponge, early humans learned how to stay clean by watching animals. Observing animals grooming themselves to remove dirt and parasites, early humans realized that staying clean was not just about appearances, it was crucial for health. By washing off dirt and sweat, they could avoid infections and diseases, even if they didn't fully understand the science behind it. And as our ancestors started to gather and form communities, being clean took on a whole new meaning. It wasn't just about personal health anymore, it was about social standing, attractiveness, and even survival. Let's see how living together made staying clean even more important. Imagine trying to make friends when you're covered in a week's worth of adventure. Not so appealing, right? Early humans quickly realized that smelling nice and looking clean could make a big difference in their social lives. Being clean helped in making connections and finding a mate. The first bath and shower of the world. In the beginning, our ancestors found cleanliness in the natural world around them. Rivers, lakes, and rain were the first baths, offering a chance to wash away the dirt. It was simple, when you found water, you used it to clean up. Humans began to innovate. They started by blocking parts of streams to create deeper pools for bathing, or carrying water to natural hollows where they could wash more effectively. Archaeologists have found evidence of the first constructed bathing area 2500 BCE in today Pakistan. As communities grew into cities and civilizations, bathing took on new dimensions. It wasn't just about cleanliness anymore, it became a vital part of social life, religion, and even politics. In ancient Rome, their big bathhouses, called thermi, were more than just places to wash. They were like huge social clubs where people could relax, chat, and even do business while enjoying a steamy bath. It was where you'd catch up with friends, hear the latest news, and unwind, all in one place. What about soap? As washing became a part of daily life, so did the quest for better cleaning agents. Our ancestors discovered that certain plants and ashes mixed with water could help remove oil and dirt more effectively than water alone. The Sumerians, living around 3000 BCE, are credited with creating one of the first soap-like substances using animal fats and ashes. This innovation spread, and soon, soap became a valuable commodity of the world. Even as ancient folks started using soap, bathing hit a rough patch in the Middle Ages. After the fancy bathhouses in ancient Rome, the Middle Ages saw less public bathing. People were worried about diseases and started thinking that bathing might make them sick. But they still wanted to stay clean, so they had to figure out different ways to do it without actually getting into the water. Back then, instead of taking baths, people would change their clothes to help wipe off oil and dirt. They also used lots of perfume to cover up any smells. Smelling nice was more important than being totally clean. Interestingly, during the plague years, it was thought that bathing could open the pores to disease. Perfume and aromatic herbs were seen as protective barriers. Renaissance of Personal Hygiene As Europe emerged from the Middle Ages and plunged into the Renaissance, a renewed interest in the human body and science led to a bathing renaissance. Advances in plumbing and water management once again made personal hygiene a priority, reviving the culture of bathing. When the Enlightenment era came around, people started learning a lot more about how staying clean could stop diseases. This made everyone much more interested in keeping clean and bathing regularly. Then came one of the biggest changes, indoor plumbing and showers. For the first time, clean water was easy to get inside houses, changing the way everyone thought about and practiced staying clean. The journey to our modern shower started in 1767 with William Feetham's invention. 
The 19th century saw the first patent for a mechanical shower, an innovation that would eventually make daily showering commonplace. Meanwhile, the discovery of germs and the role of sanitation in health catapulted personal hygiene to new heights. With the introduction of hot and cold running water, the shower finally started to look like the refreshing escape we know today. Innovations like the electric shower heater in the 20th century meant that a warm shower wasn't just a luxury, it was available anytime, sparking a new era of hygiene. And so, from riversides to Roman baths, from William Feetham's Mechanical Marvel to the digital showers of the 21st century, our quest for cleanliness has shaped civilizations, cultures, and technologies. It turns out, the simple act of taking a shower connects us with thousands of years of human innovation and social evolution. Think about this during your next shower. You're part of a tradition as ancient as humans walking the earth. What will bathing look like in the future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this dive into the past, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories. Stay clean, stay curious.